from your kitchen. This is from my kitchen. Yeah, we're gonna jump into our Taste It Tuesday today because we're all a little hungry and it's breakfast time. And, and for Always. once, I think we actually have a traditional breakfast food that normally doesn't happen. We usually do ice cream or cake or something yeah, like, like that. Beer, yeah, random things at 9 a.m. But today, <laughs> we are diving in to the Starbucks Egg Bite Dupes. Um, so the Starbucks Egg Bites, if you ever go there to get breakfast, they're so good. They're delicious. They fill you up. Lots of protein. Uh -huh. Low on calories sometimes too, depending on which one you get. People have been making these at home, but there's a trick to it. And we want to okay. show you because Kroger actually uh, did a little video on TikTok and showed how you can make them. And I don't know if they use the secret ingredient, but let's see. They sprinkle in the salt, the pepper. Got the it. Cheese. Got it. Ooh, and cheese. there is the trick. It's I can't say it. Was that cottage cheese? It in fact was. <gasps> yes, and I am not a fan of cottage I, cheese. I was just going to say, I would never, but but that makes sense to add a little bit of that uh, so, creamy consistency or, you know, yeah, some little cheese. Yeah. I will say the recipe that I found, there are tons of recipes online. The recipe that I found said to put it in the blender because it, it makes it all like creamier. Okay. You can't tell. I am not a fan of cottage cheese. I will tell you that you cannot tell. I will also say that, um, Ron, I made you one too. I saw this, that was nice um, of you. These that we're gonna try okay. have Gouda, Swiss, Ooh. and Monterey Jack, Okay. and mm. bacon. Ron's does not have bacon. Aw, okay. it's nice of you so too. The base, is, <laughs> the base is always the same. I think it was like a cup of cottage cheese, eight eggs, salt and pepper, and then your cheese blends, whatever you wanna use. I like how Roger yeah. smiles. He's well, yeah, like, I, I looked up, I was like, whoa, right, so who is that bite. handsome man? Okay. I want to get They're all the cold. bacon in the... But you can't tell. Mmm. Remember when I made cottage cheese ice cream? Much different. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the ice cream was good. You that did was not. much different. <laughs> These are good. This is actually, I okay, know, okay, really okay Heather good. Abraham. This was not me, this was the courtesy of all recipes. <laughs> but I mean, you still, and um, so I you mean, put you it put in it a together. little muffin tin, is that how you yeah, made this little shape? This is wait, so cute. Yeah, I'm, so, cool. I'm so impressed because I sous vide. Sous vide? <gasps> sous vide, how, yeah. How would the, what would the past tense of sous vide mean? Be. Sous vide, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, yes. Sous vide? A sous vide? Sous vide? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> That is Sounds good. awesome. Did you see? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, so I, you, it's basically like, a, I, I did a water bath, so I filled like yep. a big roasting pan with water and put the muffin tin in it. Got it, cook. okay. They're much better out of the oven or warmed to an appropriate amount of heat. I, I could see where that would add like some crispiness, <laughs> but this, honestly, they're good. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm a huge Chef fan. Heather, I, I made them once before with goat cheese and roasted red peppers, and those are really Ooh. good. Well, I'm actually usually not a breakfast person, but well, I, I think I would. Uh, the best way to start the day. Yeah. I know. Here we are. I know. That's why you'll hear my stomach growling during throughout <laughs> the show because I usually don't eat. You don't eat.